What's going on guys, DK here bringing you StarCraft 1 campaign tutorial I figured since it's been a while that I should probably get to this so this time I'm not gonna uh, I'm gonna do a different approach in showing you how to do some various triggers and whatnot but first we're gonna change the um, the map scenario the map type and whatnot so I'm gonna change it to installation I'm gonna go to floor and then actually let's go to substructure and I'm gonna change the size like a little bit smaller this time 64 64 so it could be 64 square now and we're gonna press ok and it leads to this very small as you can see and I should probably turn on this great Starcraft 2 turn music Still doesn't beat StarCraft 1 turn music, but StarCraft 2 turn music is just as good. Anyway, so from here, we are gonna. I am gonna show you how to um, do some something. So, first of all, oh, yeah, I can't make bunkers in, in an original map editor. I mean, you can put bunkers in an installation map, but as you can see, it's showing red like this, indicating I can't place buildings. So actually I'm going to change the map map type to let's say space platform and we'll go to space so it's just like an empty darkness we're going to go to platform we're going to put some platform here like this and, if, and if you're wondering here's a very brief uh, way how to use do that so let's say like I want to make a bridge around here can you guys see this let's see yeah, like I want to make a bridge around here then I want to go over here change the do that layer and it's gonna show this which I have to screen capture every time this and we want to change that to uh, bridges and then we just choose the corresponding size like this is it showing? yeah it's showing right there on the left side right side for me and just place like that see if it's red you can't place it like I'm clicking it doesn't work but if it's green then it works like that anyway I'll close this now so I'm gonna place a beacon well first of all I'm gonna set up the forces remember this doing this it's very basic stuff is the music too loud uh, that's fine remember this guys so um, we're gonna be player one this time and I'll put all the other players somewhere else and we'll be like I don't know chooser chooser you'll see one and of course always always turn off the random start location and then from there we wanna go to player over here and go to settings and then by going going to settings we have this right here so this is all old stuff and then we're gonna set um, let's see we want to set hmm, we're gonna set blue as Terran and we're gonna put neutral like that we're gonna need one computer at least so like so and voila that's that that means we have to go back to force and then we want to say like computer and then put the other we can leave the neutral here it doesn't matter anywhere because it's not gonna show up in the force description anyway and the, these are all the unused so and we have computer here okay and that's good so the reason why I'm doing this is because now, now we can go over here and then we're gonna put some Terran beacon like this like that and um no, actually, let's place it right here. Okay, so, and then we're gonna put like, we're gonna put, hmm, put a marine here, ghost here, and a fire bat like that. Okay, and we're gonna be the, and of course you need to put put start location. So it'll show up and then we're gonna be the turn civilian like this 
and you're wondering oh I think I know what you're trying to do DK so and then first and then we're gonna obviously put location layer like this so this is gonna be named as ghost enter and then it shows that location box I, I'm not gonna bother adding a screen location fire back and then I'm marine and yes and yeah this works now and then now now that we have this basic stuff right here then we're gonna we're gonna um, go to those triggers gonna screen capture this and then of course this is the default default triggers we want to delete this for our campaign and now what we're trying to do is by bringing the civilian to one of these three beacons we'll be able to equip ourselves as a ghost marine or a fire bat that's what i'm trying to do so how to do this dk very simple go to new shows this screen nothing new here we're, we're player one so we want to click player one next then we want to go to okay i gotta screen capture this i guess once we click new it's gonna show this box then we want to go to bring like so then we want to go to player one player one brings or current player brings that's the same thing that's player one brings at least one like that at least one or exactly one if you want to be very specific exactly one what current civilian to which location let's let's start off with the fire bat fire bat go to next then click on the new box which shows the action box which is this then what happens once we bring our civilian to the fire bat location well we're gonna go like this we're gonna remove so we can either do it like this we, are, we can do remove all Terran civilian for current player or player one but this isn't this is very not trigger friendly because if you have more than one civilians in, or all around the map this is gonna just remove all the civilians so we wanna do remove units at location so we wanna remove one Terran civilian for player one or current player at the fire bat location that we just did and then create create one fire bat at the fire bat location for player one or current player doesn't matter and yeah that's basically it and we can also put a comment like saying chose fire bat so what what does what does this do so if you click this it's gonna be like that it's, it like makes into one line like this a comment but if we delete the if we remove the comment it will show like this like that as I have been showing previously in my other videos but I like to use comments just to make it easier to read so what does this do so once we bring our, our civilian our red civilian over here to this beacon to the fire bat it's gonna create a fire bat and it's gonna remove the other civilian and now we do the same thing for for um for the marine and gold so we basically just copy it and we wanna um let's see how do we how do i show this so just copy it and you know instead of okay hold on guys i gotta remove like some some stuff god i hate using using this as um as this stuff anyway I, so we get this again so just change the yeah man x split man sometimes x split just triggers me man with the recording just change so instead of the fire battle here just change it to like i don't know ghost then remove the the stuff okay i gotta screen capture this too huh then we have this remember oh actually never we didn't need to add that okay i'll remove this then then we have this so instead of that fire bat we want to change the ghost now like so then create one terran ghost at the ghost location 
for player one, and then we can rename this comment as chose goals and etc. Stuff like this. Very simple. And same thing with our. I'm gonna change this to the marine now. And yeah. And that's basically a chose chose marine. Like so. And then we're gonna test it if it works actually. So we're gonna put three civilians like this. And then in case you're wondering, oh I wanna I want this trigger, but since this trigger doesn't have a preserved trigger, it's gonna just do this once. So if you want to loop this trigger, then we can put a preserved trigger like at the end, like this. So what this does is that it's gonna it's gonna have this trigger like every time we move our civilian to that corresponding beacon, respect the beacon, it's gonna keep having loop this trigger so it works correctly. Oh, and then of course I should have screen captured this like that. So yeah, so basically I just added like you know just preserve trigger like yeah as you can see from over here preserve trigger anyway and then another thing that I wanted to show you guys was, was how to load bunkers as I have been mentioning in in like some of the campaign playthroughs that I did so it's very simple just put a place a bunker it can be computer or yours let's put like marine let's put marine goals fire bad and medic yay then we're gonna put a location here. We can say like load bunker or bunker whatever. Or go into bunker. Usually I just when I make when I do my camping, I just put bunker one or a like that. But bunker. And then go back to triggers. And then we're gonna do like what? Uh less so let's say at the start of the game. Which I need to screen capture again. So hold on a second. So let's see. I wanna add. So from there, I click new. Then it shows this conditions. Then I I wanna I wanna go to last game time. It's at least zero seconds or start of game or it can be always same thing. Th these two work. It's, these two are essentially the same thing. We can do always. Then next click new again and then how to load bunkers very simple go to run AI script at location same thing as we did our as how I show how to set the AI settings for the computers so over here if you click script it's gonna show all this it's gonna show this remember this and then if you scroll down there's gonna be something called enter bunker or something yeah enter closest bunker like this and if you're wondering what's enter transport and exit transport that's for um drop ships overlords and uh shuttles but it's kind of the same thing we can do the same thing as this but anyway this is i'm showing the bunker how to do it so enter closest bunker at which location well, the bunker location that i just made and that's basically it guys that's how you load bunkers and become it load bunker so what this means is that at the start of the game, it's going to load the units that are <coughs> in the location field to the bunker like this. So like right here. And yeah, that's basically it. And what else? Hmm. I think this should be good enough. I want, I wanted to make this very simple. And, oh, okay. And then one more stuff. Let's say, um, let's make a elevated catwalk this time, why not? And then we have like a command center and like one SCB here. And then if you want to like restrict some of the tech units, we have to we go to player over here, go to settings. Just like how we, um, just like how we set the race and whatnot, but instead of, oh, instead of tinkering over here we go to units and it shows all this we want to go to buildings or you can you can like limit the units as well but go to buildings like this then it shows all this so we just basically we just basically uh, like unclick this uncheck this enable by default so let's say if we can't we don't we can't 
build like a science facility that we're gonna put on, on check this so what this does is all the players in this game will never will never be able to make science facility but if you want to be specific you can just uncheck this and then it says yes right here right just say no so this means only player one can make science facility and we can do that for star ports like that and we can also disable an SCV like in the unit tab so we like that we can also disable add-ons like no nuclear silo obviously like this very straightforward and just press ok and that's basically how you do it same same thing goes with the upgrades too remember guys this I did this in the very first video so let's say we, we can we can only get up to two two uh, only one upgrade instead of the default three then just uncheck this and just set it to like two like one like this very simple and you know that's for the inventory and then you can do the same thing and all whatnot and stuff like that and we can also like have a marine come with the range upgrade the goals come with the sight range upgrade like this and also give us like stim pack at the research like that and uh, you know like lockdown too personal cloaking let's actually disable personal cloaking and yeah that's basically it guys very simple stuff and I'm about to say this and this is gonna I'm gonna call this um let's see so it shows this right now once I click save it shows this just save it in your some map for that I will say tutorial 2 this time and now I'm gonna start Starcraft and show you guys if it worked or not and obviously the triggers that I just made they all work so hold on a second guys in the meantime you can just evaluate this what I did just now okay let's see uh, Starcraft 1 should be up soon I'm gonna turn off the music for this okay and let's go go to let's see right here oh whoops that's the wrong one go to my maps to go to tutorial 2 this time and let's go okay and here's the thing i forgot to set up so i don't have a computer that's why i made yellow computer here so we want to place one computer somewhere like like, like that uh, let's say it's an overlord that's invincible like 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 that or something like that okay and you know remember this guys how do how do i make an overload invincible pre-placed just double click the unit itself and it has all that and just check this invincible box so then this overload will be invincible it won't be attacked and voila now i save again and now i go back to starcraft and go to my maps tutorial now we can start blah 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 so as you can see this overlord is invulnerable can't be attacked our units like loaded by itself can attack our ghost we disable the cloak there we have lockdown though we have stim and that means we should have range as well i didn't bother with this and as you can see the ghost has the sight range very far away what about the scv can you make science facility nope and star post too i disabled that and uh, can we make scvs nope i disabled the nuclear silo as well so yeah, that's how you do stuff like that and now we go to our main stuff and normally when you want to do this you want to place the neutral unit size like this for the selecting stuff so if you happen to misclick and attack the unit they'll just stay like stay frozen so basically when it comes to stuff like this you want to set them you want to set blue as an actual computer because it's gonna attack you if you attack them back so and anyway, let's see if it works for ghost here's a ghost what about marine okay maybe i didn't i didn't set the trigger correctly but this should work over here this should be fire bad. Yeah, see, so over here, the reason why it didn't turn into ghosts is because 
in the scenario. I guess I didn't properly like place the let's go to the marine. Yeah, so like over here it shows this box. So instead of at the marine location, I, it says create one turn goes at marine. So we want to change that to marine. Like that. Then now it should work. So which means that I'm gonna I'm gonna quit this StarCraft and then I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save again. And now it should be a marine. And I'm gonna actually add more civilians. So to show you guys that my trigger works like more than once. So let's see now. Okay, let's start. Boost up the game speed. Let's bring all our civilians. So now if you bring our civilian to this marine location, it's gonna it's gonna give us a marine. What about fire bats? Let's put like a bunch of civilians. See, now the reason why this isn't working is because I put exactly one. So once you have exactly one, it's gonna show up like this. But if you want it to be work, if you want it to work like you know all at the same time, then you, you can put at least civilian, at least one civilian instead of exactly one. But anyway, I'm just showing you guys that. Yeah, see it. It's gonna it's gonna keep looping. So that's how you do stuff. So you don't need that you, brood war terror mission at all. Was it the seventh mission? The one where Duran like kills um Stukov. So you know how the Marine gets to like go inside the Goliath? That's basically how you do it, man. This is how you guys do it. And you just add a sound wave trigger and you know if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you can watch my other video regarding how to add sound files and that's how you do it man and this is how you do the bunker load which is basically same as if you want to drop if you want to load inside an overlord or like a dropship shuttle and as for the tech like in your own campaign if you want to limit the tech that's how, you know i just showed you guys and that's basically it if you call and what about our first description So you should have a computer na computer AI named computer and us as chooser. So that's basically it guys. Pretty simple here guys. And this is DK guys. I hope this helped you get and I'm gonna continue with Dark Code and Montag. Bye now.